Welcome to this special season of Christmas Daily Reflections, where this year we're going to delve into that timeless carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Day by day, over the next 25 days, we're going to consider the timeless truths so richly described in this carol, line by line, verse by verse. This beloved carol carries with it such a rich history and a profound message that can illuminate our Christmas season. So let's embark on a journey to explore the story behind the song, to consider its profound significance and how it still has the capacity to transform not only our celebrations, but also our lives. To start with, we're going to take a glimpse into history. The carol was written by Charles Wesley in 1739, which is over 284 years ago. Now, Charles and his brother John played a huge role in the Methodist movement and his hymns, he wrote 6,500 of them, continue to inspire believers across the world. He's got lots of famous ones. You know the one, love design or love excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down, or one of my favourites, and can it be, that I should gain an interest in the Saviour's love. If you've never, ever, ever considered those hymns, please go and take a look at them. Take a look at the lyrics, so beautifully written and so much truth. I grew up on the old hymns and I cherish them. The inspiration for this carol struck Charles Wesley as he contemplated the biblical account in Luke 2, 8 to 14. And this is the account of the shepherds on the fields that night when the angels of the Lord burst out from heaven with their proclamation. It recalls the moment when the angels descended to the fields to proclaim the good news of Jesus' birth to very astonished shepherds. And the carol's opening line, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, brilliantly captures the essence of that divine proclamation. And it invites us to join the angelic chorus in rejoicing over the birth of our Saviour. As we sing or reflect on these words, we're invited to contemplate a profound image. The Christmas cards, although beautiful, cannot and have never captured the enormity of what happened on those hills on that evening. I remember my mum and dad having a Christmas card sent to them of a, a night sky and the little shepherds and the angelic hosts and the angelic hosts were full of glitter and I loved looking at it and usually when I finished there was glitter all over me but even that beautiful card, how beautiful it was, couldn't capture the enormity of what happened on that evening. The moment when the boundary between heaven and earth became blurred, when heaven and earth embraced as the angels heralded the arrival of the Messiah. Now consider this for a moment. In the quiet fields on a night like no other, the ordinary lives of ordinary shepherds collided with the extraordinary, as heaven could no longer contain the angel's joyous message. Imagine it spilled out into the earthly realm, touching the hearts and souls of those who heard it. And in that sacred instance, heaven and earth embraced and a bridge was built, connecting God's realm with ours, connecting us with a saviour. Now this Christmas season, as we meditate on that line, hark the herald angels sing, let's take a moment to marvel at this blurring boundary between heaven and earth. And just as the shepherds listened to the angelic proclamation and made their way to the newborn Christ, may we too open our hearts to the message of hope and joy and salvation that Jesus brings. Now this carol, encourages us to do more than just listen. It urges us to respond with faith. It's not enough just to hear it. They went. They went, they responded with faith. The invitation is clear for us. Let's join the angel's song in celebrating the glory of the newborn king. In a world often overwhelmed by noise and distraction, and doesn't there seem to be an awful lot of it around, Hark the Herald Angels Sing encourages us to pause and to listen attentively and to respond to the message of Christ's birth. 
So this Christmas season, let's create a quiet space in our hearts. And just as the night sky opened a quiet space for the angel's announcement, in that stillness, we can listen more clearly and feel God's embrace. Like the shepherds, may we not only hear, but also follow the guide, guiding star of God's love making room in our lives for this newborn King to enter in, to transform and dwell within us. And as we embrace this divine connection, let the angel's song become our song, a song of joy, of peace and hope for the world. And my goodness, doesn't it need that this Christmas time? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the timeless message of hope and salvation found in this incredible carol. Hark the herald angels sing. And as we contemplate the blurring boundary between heaven and earth, may we be filled with wonder and joy and deep, deep gratitude. Help us to listen to the good news of Jesus' birth and let it be refreshed and restored in us. Help us to respond with joy and to share the love and peace of this Jesus with others. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoy the next 25 days, 24 actually. I hope you enjoy as uh, we look into this carol. And uh, just to say, have a fantastic Christmas and God richly bless you and your family. <laughs>